The more solid yourself is, the more stupid you are. <laughs> This is worth reflecting on, you know. The more solid yourself is, the more stupid you are. We have been given a lot of false education. Of course, we practically, practically, you could say that we haven't been given any other thing than false education for <laughs> the last two thousand years. True education has just not yet reached the premises. True, real education. The science of the self, you know. If we don't understand the science of the self, then we are idiots. Do we want to be idiots? Do we want to leave this earth as a species who actually was an idiotic, imbecile, moronic, self-serving, narcissistic, idiotic humanity? No, we don't want that. So we need to accept the science of the self. And the more solid yourself is, the more stupid you are. And the reason why there is a lot of solid selves around <laughs> is because, of course, it's just a fabrication. You know, it's just a blind fabrication by the individuals themselves because they think that this is the right thing to do. The more solid yourself is, the more authority you have. The more self-confidence you have, the stronger you will be. The easier it will be. For you to become the president or the king or the minister, or the preacher or the pastor or the doctor or the priest, right? <laughs> And this is all really fake. It's nonsense. It's not really true. The thing that gives authority to a person is knowledge and insight. Only that insight is the only authority, or insight is the only thing that gives authority. If you want authority, you cannot get it without having insight, because without insight, your authority will be fake. The only thing that you will have to rely on if you don't have insight is the solidity of yourself, which is a fake fabrication that you've made yourself in your own stupidity, in your own psychological stupidity and blindness. Simply because that's how society works. If you're able to develop a solid self, you will be someone, right? <laughs> And this is just a stupid thing because the self is in another area than in the mind. the The true self is not the psychological self. The true self is in the soul, heart area region. It's a it's a being by itself, so to speak. All these fake authorities in this world. All the fake presidents, all the fake kings, all the fake authorities everywhere around the world who are not kings, they are not presidents, they are not prime ministers. It's not authority based on insight. The only authority that is worth its salt is the authority that comes from insight. You have to be a real king if you want to be a king. You cannot be a stupid idiot who's just narcissistic and selfish, and half crazy. You know, it's simply just not enough. So, whether you want a high position or a good position or a central position or whatever it is that you want, you have to. If you want true authority, you need insight. If you haven't got any insight, then you won't have any authority other than the fake one. And if you accept the fake one, that's all right. But don't abuse other people with fake authority. Don't do that. Don't abuse other people with fake authority. But this is the destiny of the world. This is the system of the world. This is what what is bound to happen. A lot of innocent people are going to be abused by people with with fake authority. This is just how the world is. Fake authority is abusing innocent people who only wants to have a good life. Fake authority. Abuses people who simply just is hoping and praying for a decent society, for a decent humanity, for a good person in this world, for a good heart, for an insight person, for something that is truly, really democratic and flexible and tolerant and open-minded, right? And the world is drowning today because of fake authority, because fake authority is destroying the world. And what is it that this fake authority has? This fake authority has a fake solidity of the self. You can break them like a piece of dry bread, you know. 
But they won't let you do that because they have defenses. They know that they can be broken. That's why they surround themselves with defenses, with police forces and armies and security guards and bodyguards and fellow <coughs> politicians, comrades of the same political party. <laughs> they will stand up and protect you if you get assaulted by a troll, by an internet troll, by someone who's had enough of you. <laughs> someone with insight, someone with clear seeing. You know, there's so much fake authority in this world. And we are controlled by people who are nothing but fake authority. And it's very difficult to get out of it because, because it's just the way it is. The world is built on fake authority. And that's just a huge sadness, you know. It's a sadness. It should never have come to this. So this is why we, with true authority, we who have true authority, we try to uh, give voice to that which is authority from time to time. But what does that do us? Well, either we get imprisoned or we get killed, you know, or we get frozen out of society by the idiots who are already brainwashed by the fake authority, right? So this is the system, this is the drill, this is the party, this is the cake of the world. It's so corrupt and so stupid that it just gives you the chills when you understand how hopeless it is. People are animals. And not only animals, they are blind and selfish animals. And they are really ready to hurt you or to hurt anyone who has a grain of truth in them. Because... People just hate the truth. They hate authority because they know that they are fake. In their heart of hearts, they know that they are fake people. So that's why they hate truth. Anyway, this was just a word. And God damn it, I really hope that this world will get a little bit more of true authority and quite a lot less of fake authority. Thank you. Thank you very much.